5 things that you have to change immediately after installing Blender software. These things will make your workflow really fast, optimized and easy to use. So let's get started. So at number 1 we have to change the interface of Blender. So the default interface is pretty good but we can pretty much improve and optimize it. So the first thing that I always do is that I right click here and join this area to here. So here we get all the properties and until here if we have all of the scenes you can easily work here. So we have a lot of space and the second thing for the outliner what I do is that I drag up here a new window and I change this to outliner. So as many objects that we have here will not be a problem for us and we can easily access to that without scrolling one more thing that is pretty interesting that i do is that i drag a window here and i change this one to a 3d view i scroll up here and i hide all the overlays and all these tools and i rotate this view a little like this and i come up here and make this one to a matte cap and turn on the cavity so now as you can see i have a better preview of what i create here so as you can see so many people don't like the light and the default cube and they always delete it so i will delete it and now to make sure we start from this say from this scene always what i have to do is i have to click on file come up here to the defaults and make this one save startup file so now whenever i start a new project it will start from this scene so any option in blender that you use a lot you can add this to a quick fav favorite menu let me show you how so what i use a lot is a subdivision modifier so i right click on the sub subdivision modifier and make it to add quick favorite and also the mirror one and now whenever i need it i just press Q and uh, the my favorite quick menu appears and now I can easily access to the subdivision and same whenever I need mirror I can just click on Q and make it mirror so this make our workflow really easy you can add a lot of options such as I add the wireframe one so I right click on the wireframe and click on that and also the face orientation that I use a lot so now whenever I have to check the wireframe I can just check on that and also the face orientation and this makes our workflow really easy. The next option that I am going to show you can save your lives. By saving lives in Blender I mean you can save your work. So whenever we done a work in Blender we are just allowed to undo 32 times. And sometimes this is very low and you've done a lot of work but you need to undo and it and blender don't allow us such as this scene so what we have to do is come up here to the edit preference come up here to the system and here we have the undo steps so we can make it to 265 the maximum one and now if we save the reference now we are allowed to undo the history with 256 which is super good on the third we have the enable gpu option a lot of people have a good gpu but they don't enable their gpu and that's why their blender got really slow so if you are not familiar with this option just you have to go to the file preference come up here to the system and with here you can turn on your graphics card and your cpu powers if you have an nvidia graphics card it must be here in the cuda but if you have another you can just find your one at any of this place and make sure to turn on this thing and save the settings. On number 4 it's the Pi menu. How to enable it is go to the edit preference and go to the add-on and search for the Pi menu add-on and just turn on this thing. But it allows you to Pi menu with all these steps and sometimes it's hard to work with it. So what I do is that I disable all of them with the left click. And just enable two of them the one is the z hotkey and the one is the x and now save it and one more thing that is related to the pi menu but it's here in the import uh, it's in the key map which is the tab for pi menu so you have to turn on this thing and now if i press on tab i get all this access to all these uh, modes 
which is the object mode edit mode and sculpt mode so how to use it is that you have to press the z press the tab key for a while and you can just uh, grab your mouse to any of these options so once you get a little practice on that you are pretty easy to work with any of that you have to just train your memory that on the left it's object mode on the right it's the edit mode and on the bottom it's the sculpt mode so these are the three that we use a lot but you can also memorize this thing or just hold your tab and you can get access to these if you have to delete anything it can be quite easy what i have to do is that i have to dissolve this one so i just press x and go down and it dissolve that and if we have like multiple edges and we want to remove that thing as you see it will work really really fast same it is for deleting paste and all these steps you have to just memorize this thing once and after that you will be much more faster than the previous on the fifth i have to show some add-ons that you have to enable to work more fast and easy with blender so all we have to do is go to edit preference and come up here to the add-on so search for the node triangular and you will get this one enable that save that and whenever you have to import the texture you can just Control shift t and select all the texture at once and click that and automatically it will come up here to the node panel so most of the time we have a weird topology and we have to mirror an object but it's hard to select the half of it and delete that since because we missed a lot of vertex and faces and it's hard to mirror that so for that I turn on that mirror add-on and now if I just come up here to the edit it we have this one uh, auto mirror and just select the direction that you want it and it can be negative or positive to the port side for this case it it is on the X mirror so I just will click on auto mirror and as you can see my object is completely cut it in half and the mirror modifier is applied so it worked really great for those especially if you are sculpting and you are doing the character modeling the next one is the ball tool so i use this one a lot select the both object that i want to ball and now come up here to the edit you will get this ball menu and we can easily with one click i can just union that and i can just difference that and i can do all the options so that was it for the video now if you learn something from this video or from any of my other video you can just subscribe to the channel cause you will get more like this